What's going on guys? Jonathan here with TLD doing a couple quick Final Cut Pro tests on one of the new iMacs for this year. Quick rundown of the specs. This is the 3.4 GHz Core i7 model. 4 gigs of RAM. This is using an AMD Radeon 6970 1 gigabyte card, not 2. And a 1 terabyte 7200 RPM hard drive. So the first thing we're going to do uh, is actually transcode a 30 second 60D clip into ProRes LT. Let me just show you guys. This is using the Canon E1 plugin. And there you go, ProRes LT. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we're going to drag this down, throw in some music while it does this, and we'll jump to the next test. So you guys saw that did that pretty quick. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is drop that into the uh, timeline right here. Yes. Uh, next step we're gonna do uh, we're gonna add some little color correction and we're gonna do maybe a vignette just to add a couple different effects and we're gonna go ahead and render this out. Uh, so you guys saw the E1 transcode uh, worked pretty fast. It does take advantage of multi cores. This is a quad core CPU, but it does take advantage of the hyper threading. So a total of eight threads that the computer sees and utilizes that. So we'll go in here, color corrector. I'm not gonna really take too much time and make this precise. We're just gonna do a couple little things uh, and kind of bring up the blacks, bring up a little saturation. And that kind of does it. Let's go. We, I mean, we added an effect there. Let's go ahead and add a vignette. That's a little more intensive as far as uh, processing. Just gonna do a standard one like that. Let's go ahead and drag this over. Cue the music and we'll go ahead and render this one out. Okay, so we got the uh, render done. Now keep in mind, this is going to be actually faster in real life because I do have screen flow capturing the entire 2560 by 1440 screen. Uh, so that is going to take a little bit from the CPU. So actual performance in real life will be a little bit faster. Uh, but I wanted to use something that we can test because I want to do the same thing with the 2011 MacBook Pro. Uh, so next thing and the final test for this video is we're going to do an export to uh, 1080p. Let's go ahead and set that up. So there we go, export folder is already set up. We're gonna change the size, 1920 by 1080. The interlace settings, we'll go ahead and do, uh, leave it at high. We're gonna change the sound to AAC, 44, 256, and we'll do best. Uh, so that should wrap it up. I'm gonna leave you guys here with some music playing at the end along with a couple links to uh, some more iMac videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you guys have any questions with the new models, feel free to drop me a line down below in the comments section or you guys can send me an email. I'll post a link to that in the description. So again, thank you guys for watching. As always, feel free to subscribe and I will catch you guys later.